Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to the live stream. Um, I had a question on one of my videos as to how to actually set up um, your system for recording videos and also doing live streams of your DAW sessions. So I'm going to just show you that in this stream today of how to go about it and what software that I use. Um, now the two main bits of software you're going to be using for doing your live streams are these two which are right in front of us, both of which are free. Um, the main one is OBS Studios. Um, so if you type in Google OBS, I'll, what I'll do after I've done this stream, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I forgot to do it actually before starting this stream, so I'll put a link uh, to this in the description below. So OBS is basically um, a very, very, very cool um, bit of software which allows you to do some really advanced stuff if you want to do complicated live streams or if you want to do basic live streams like I'm doing now. Um, so in effect, what happens is um, your microphone... You can see here I've got the level coming in. It looks hotter than it actually is. It's just the meters are not very accurate on this. Um, but I've got my USB microphone going into OBS. And then OBS is being used to actually capture the main screen. And there's loads of different options you can use inside of OBS. If you want to have like graphic overlays. Or if you want, like you see on these Twitch scre uh, streams where people are sort of like getting donations or whatnot. And then a little graphic pops up and some music starts playing. You can set all that up quite easily inside of OBS but we're not going to cover that for this stream I just want to show you guys how I'm actually going about doing this so the other bit of software that we're going to need is voice meter which is donationware it's also a free one hello Tommy I hope you're well um, so the other one there is uh, voice meter again if you type in voice meter on Google it will come up and you can download it for free and you can also do a donation for them as well and um, this is going to act as the main audio driver inside of the DAW because how some DAWs work is there's like it doesn't matter what driver you use if you're using ASIO or whatnot. There's just like a link in the chain that just stops you from sending that audio into like a piece of software like OBS. So you need like a bridge for it, and this works really well. So if I I've got a session uh, in Cubase which I've started up here, and I'm just going to show you what my inputs and outputs are for doing this. It's pretty straightforward. So once you've installed Voice Meter and OBS, what you want to do in your door is go to the um, audio settings. <clears throat> And then from your driver drop down list, um, you want to choose the voice meter virtual ASIO driver, okay? And then your door will be going to voice meter, the audio will be going to that. So as you can see, I've already got it set up here, okay? And then if I go back over to voice meter, you'll notice that you've got various options here. So you've got your input chain if you want to. Um, have a microphone plugged in um, or if you're using the ASIO drivers you can actually have a microphone coming through voice meter and going into the output section here but the trouble with voice meter is is it doesn't support any VST plugins um, you only get <clears throat> excuse me you only get a mono feature and then you've got this a couple of controls here you have got an EQ section um, which you can load up and a basic compressor but <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit uh, a bit scummy this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, you've got the basic EQ section, the basic compressor, but it's the, you can't really do much with them to get decent sound. So what I do is, the reason why I use a USB microphone is because it, it, it comes up as a separate driver. So when you load up OBS, you, you have full control over that microphone and it completely ignores the other drivers because it's running off its own driver. So here in OBS, you can see I've got my audio input capture and you can also add VST plugins to your own chain inside of OBS, which is really, really handy. Now, it doesn't support wave shell formats. Um, wave shell formats are just, you know, a bit strange anyway. Maybe in the future... OBS will do something so they're a bit compatible. But from your own plugins, you can you can add VST to um, plugs. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing here. If you go down to the plus sign and go to VST to plugins, and you can just call it, I don't know, whatever you want. 
and then you can open up a plugin from your list that's supported and start using it in your own chain. So it's, it's pretty handy because you can you can get the sound in OBS and have more control of how you blend it in with the video. So obviously, like I said, I've got the virtual ASIO driver, so that's going to voice meter. Now the other thing you want to make sure is happening on voice meter is you've got your audio interface turned on. And what I like to do is I actually like to set the output to my audio interface speakers. So what this allows me to do, I can talk and play into you know, the door and I'm not going to get my own voice coming back out of the speakers to get feedback. So there's no need for me to be wearing headphones or anything. And the other thing is as well is I can then control all my instruments inside the door and play things and hear it coming back through the speakers. Now, you might get a little bit of latency. Um, let me just turn my thing on. Uh... Right, let's just add something in. Uh, this is where I haven't got anything set up correctly. <laughs> it might not like me doing this people with me doing a live stream. I should have turned my MIDI keyboard on beforehand, but it does auto refresh. In fact, what I should have done, hold on, let me turn this off, is it doesn't like you turning things on before you've done your door. So let me just put this back on, get this working again. This is where everything goes technically wrong. All right, there we go. So I haven't got my speakers on, so I can't actually hear anything coming out. So just bear with me a sec. Number one. Okay, now this makes more sense, so I can actually hear what I'm doing. So what you guys should be hearing, if I go back to OBS over here, as you can see, the signal's coming out. So how this is set in OBS is if you go to properties by clicking the gear icon, you can select your outputs uh, that OBS is going to listen to. So obviously, we've set our DAW driver to the voice meter driver. Now we need to set OBS to voice meter output. So the output of voice meter is then going into OBS so OBS can hear what's going on. So it's recording it, but OBS is not providing you the sound coming through the speakers. Okay, um, voice meter is doing that because over here you need to set the output to your speakers on the ASIO driver and then you'll be able to hear it coming out of your speakers. But the latency is pretty good, it might vary depending on what system you're using. Um, Obviously, you know, there's loads of factors that come into play, what your CPU is, what the buffer's set at. You can mess around with the buffer setting inside of voice meter, but I have it fairly high. Uh, this is just something that just seems to randomly work for my setup. But if you go too low with the buffer setting in voice meter, it kind of starts to fizzle out and you start getting all the audio pops, clicks and all that kind of trouble. So I'd either leave it at the default setting of 512 or then just set it to 1024 like I have here and it should be okay but once you've got these two things talking it's as easy you can see as well I'm actually live streaming through OBS I'm doing this stream through it as well but you, all you do is you just click start record and you can start recording your videos uh, or you you know you can record your stream at the same time as you're streaming if you want to and over in the settings section here you've got all your options to how actually how to actually set your stream up so if you're doing it on youtube um obviously you need to go into your um, what's it called creator studio and then go to the live streaming tab and then inside of that page at the very bottom you'll have a thing called encoder setup and then what you need to do is take your server url and paste it in but you don't really need to do that on this, you just select it from the drop down. I can't show you these options because I'm streaming at the moment, so I can't click on them. Uh, the other thing you need to do is get your stream key, which is completely personal for your account, never show it anybody. Uh, but there's a stream key at the bottom as well, you can cut and then paste into here. So then when you start streaming, 
it obviously starts coming through onto YouTube. There's nothing you have to press on YouTube. As, as soon as you hit the stream button, it will start streaming. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I've done plenty of videos on how to um, set these things up using different software in the past. Um, I can't remember what the other software it was I was using before. Um, all right, but it was a bit more fiddly than using uh, voice meter and OBS. So for me, these two are A, they're free. B, they both work really, really well. So if you want to start streaming your own stuff, it's really simple to do. Or if you want to start recording your own videos or whatnot, it's really simple to do. Um, depending on what your system is, the only options really you need to consider are the quality of how you're recording or how you're streaming. Uh, if you're going to be streaming, then I'd suggest leaving your audio bit rate at 192 because that's what YouTube likes to work out anyway. Um, and then also just check your encoder settings and you know your, your decoder settings or whatever and make sure you're not pushing your system too hard for when you're doing streams or for when you're recording videos because these things will add up in your sessions and it can cause lag and cause all kinds of problems that are going to really, really irritate you. So that's pretty much it guys, it's just a quick stream this morning. I am actually in the middle of doing another video for you guys to watch. Um, it'll probably be up later on today. So I just thought I'd do this quickly for you. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. And maybe do some more live streams. I need to pick a day and a time that's going to be good for doing some live streams, I think. So see you later guys, thanks for watching.